Now we'll be talking about domain and range of functions. So first let us start with uh, polynomial functions. If you have a polynomial function, then domain is the entire real line. Then we'll be talking about range looking at the graph. First I'm taking three polynomials. The first one, C, is degree 1. Second one is degree 3 and the third one is degree 7. So these three examples are polynomial of degree odd. So the domain for the first one is negative infinity to positive infinity. This one also negative infinity to positive infinity. This one negative infinity to positive infinity. And if we talk about the reigns, this one will be negative infinity to positive infinity. It's odd order. This one also negative infinity to positive infinity. Same here because this is these are the polynomials of odd degree. So let me plot the function. Y equals 3x plus 7, I type here, and take the standard window, go to zoom 6, and then see the graph goes all the way up and down, so this gives you range, negative into the positive infinity, domain also goes all the way, negative positive. Then we'll take the second one. Now I have to type my function, which is x to the third. Then I have a minus 7x plus 8. And then graph it again in the standard window. And you can easily see that this, this graph goes all the way down. This side goes all the way up and also this way. So the domain range will be same. So this way you can verify when you have the highest degree of the polynomial here is odd number, then your domain and range will be all real lines, or real numbers, I'm sorry. So now I'm taking three more examples. See the polynomial of degree two, degree four, degree six, all these are even numbers. Domain is still fine, only you need to check the range. So if you graph this one in the calculator, you can easily see what happens. So we type the function, 3x is got minus 4, and graph it with a simple window. I'm taking negative 5 to 5 for x, negative 5 to 5 for y. Graph it here. Now you can see this is the minimum value here. How do you find that minimum? You can either write x equals 0 in the function and find y. Or you go here second, trace, minimum is 3. Then take the left bound here, enter, move it to the right side of where we are expecting our minimum. Then one more time. So you can see that it is giving you negative 4. And this type of numbers, you know, calculators approximating, which is actually 0. So negative 6 exponent meaning is you have decimal. And then five zeros after this, after that, you have this number. So this is basically zero. So zero negative four is your vertex here. So then when you talk about the range, range will be negative four to infinity. So that we'll be writing here. So we are just saying that the range is negative four included to infinity. And the minimum value of that function is at zero and negative four. We'll take the second example. So we have our second function, x to the 4 minus 7x plus 8. Remember, the exponent is even. Leading exponent is even. So this is even order polynomial. And as we expected, we said a domain will be all real numbers, but a range will be from max negative infinity to max or minimum to positive infinity. So let's do this one here. Check the window, negative two to five, negative five to 10, that's okay. Graph it. Now you can see, 
so it doesn't go all the way down so it goes here and we find the minimum second trace minimum is three stay in the left side of your minimum you're expecting enter move it to the right side enter one more time so that gives you now 1.2051 you can say for decimal places and um, y value is 1.63734 you can say so you got the range and also that is your minimum value in this case now I'm taking the third example so I changed the sign here we want to take negative x to the 6 minus 2x square minus 9 so our main concern is here even exponent and type this one here go with your normal window so zoom 6 will give me standard window see the graph is going here so we need to work on the windows now so let me go to here change my y minimum to maybe negative 30 and then see what happens it is better so this is our graph here if you want you can reduce your x also on this side just like maybe you can say negative 5 to 5 okay now you can see here this is your max on this point so find that max point second trace maximum is 4 keep your left bound then the right bound one more time so you can see this one is when you say like that it is actually zero and y is negative nine so you can say your range will be negative infinity to negative nine so we see our domain for polynomial function always will be all real numbers negative infinity to positive infinity but the range changes but if it is odd then range also will be negative infinity to positive infinity thanks